Hey everybody, welcome back to the Warnick Family Farm. My name is Edward. We are on day 135 of the farmhouse build and we've got some super exciting stuff. We have the Aero Barrier team is here. Um, they've been working since early this morning, about seven o'clock, um, getting all the, the um, purpose, the, the seals taped up like the windows and doors and everything. And now the house is pressurized and they are squirting in the caulk material that they have. Um, just to take a look, they've got a uh, truck over there with a three-phase generator that runs, so it, they've got a high-powered uh, blower door fan um, and um, also air compressor that generates all the positive air. The blower door pressurizes the house and then they spray in this uh, mistable caulk. And all that caulk goes through any little nook and cranny throughout the envelope and seals that up. Uh, we started at a uh, ACH 50 of 0.8 which I was amazed at, but you know, we did foam everything in the house um, and we're gonna run this uh, atomized caulk for about an hour and we'll see where we end up. Um, I, it's really, you know, starting at a 0.8, um, I couldn't believe it was 0.8. I was thinking we'd be like four or five, so this is crazy. Um, if we get below 0.6, that means this will technically be a passive house. So fingers crossed, um, hopefully we'll kind of get there. I am noticing all of this is puffed out, which means if you could see this because the house is pressurized. Yeah, that means there's definitely material coming through here, but it's a good thing it eventually build up to the point where it will seal all those barriers. I'm gonna try to take a look and peek through a window to see what this looks like. So we had we just put a little bit of foam around this because this was leaking like a sieve. We kind of knew it was. We got the foam in there. Now we're going to be able to see. We got. Aero barrier truck. It has all their goodies in it. Some of it's already been put away. Starting to wrap up the job. A few hours into it now. You guys got here about seven. It's a little after three, and they're wrapping it up. Aero barrier sprayers. And that's the blower. They already took off the door. And then there's a control box. There's a post spray. Get around. A little mist in here, but not too bad, huh? Where's a good, I wonder if we got a good collector we can see. Because we wanted the product to be able to... Adhere it down here. Yeah. Oh yeah, look, look, down here. Hold on, let's take a look. Yeah, look at all that. So down in here, yeah, all down that down. is the arrow barrier. So on that plate down there. There's a lot over that way as well. Yeah. Oh wow, awesome. And we knew, yeah, and there's some on this wall too because that goes to the garage. We got more air sealing, aero barrier. Yeah, it looks like there's some came in there. A little so bit. It looks like mostly your bottom plate. Oh, and look at the, the yeah, the yeah, look at that. Yeah, yep, it's right on there. That's for sure. All in here. Got in there. It's hard. It's hard to see. You know, there, like you oh, look, look. look. All oh, through here, you can see through the cracks oh, yeah. here. There you go. I'll look here. Oh, yeah, look at this here. Along this edge. Yeah, yeah. Along that edge up here. That's really cool. Pulled it in. That's awesome. So, yeah, that was a pretty cool process. Um, crew just literally pulled out. Uh, they got here about um, this morning, a little past seven. It's just after four now. So from kind of start to finish, that was the day. They spent the first like two, two and a half hours um, kind of sealing up, taping up all the windows and the doors because um, if they didn't do that, then where you, know, you wanted a door or a window to open, it would go within there. So we, we take that out. Um, the initial test, so what this aero barrier does is it closes up all the little leaks and cracks everywhere. So we started, um, uh, there's a score that they give you, which is air changes an hour at 
50 pascals. So they um, pressurize the house to 50 pascals and then they calculate the air changes per hour. Where we started on the Warding family farm was 0.8. So we had 0.8 air changes um, every hour and where we ended up ending was um, 0.3. So we went from 0.8 to 0.3. So that is a super, super tight house. I believe um, anything below a 0.6 uh, qualifies for a net zero home. So this is officially now a net zero farmhouse. Uh, absolutely no intention to get that low when we started on this. Um, you know, we I thought uh, since we were doing more traditional construction methodology that we'd be somewhere in the neighborhood of a five. Um, kind of for some of the stuff that I saw going on, I thought it was going to be even higher. Uh, but yeah, it turns out that, you know, using the closed cell, or sorry, the open cell foam everywhere, um, and after, you know, the drywall's up and everything, we we're at a point eight, which is just by itself awesome. Um, but getting that down to that point three area where we are net zero, that's just really a game changer. Um, I think it was somewhere in the neighborhood of, you know, like 40, um, 40 square inches. So, uh, and that, I think it might even be lower than that. I'll get that. So I'm going to get the final report. I'll share that report with you all. Uh, that shows the exact data. It shows what the exact number is. It will even show you how many square inches of opening there are, or that there is left in the building envelope as a total. Um, but super, super pleased, um, glad I did the arrow barrier. Um, you know, would, would I recommend it? Yes, absolutely. Recommend it to anybody. Um, I'm again, I was a little shocked though, quite honestly, I thought I was going to be a lot higher, um, and come down to a lot lower number. Uh, but since where we started was 0.8, which is again, crazy that we built the house, that the house was built. Uh, to 0.8 and we got it to a 0.3 with the arrow barrier. Um, anyways, thank you so much for following us on the Warnick Family Farm and we will see you next time.